Hey guys, so saying and welcome to project 45 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be building this clock right here by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our coder and write our code. Alright, so welcome to the O45 project of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating a digital clock really simply. So we are going to be just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So now let's just do that. First of all, let me just create a folder, give a name of like O45 and then let me just give a name of like digital um clock clock okay so inside this digital clock we're going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be style.css and the third one will be for app.javascript <laughs> let me just make it bigger so that we can focus on our code rather than our sidebars all right so let me just write a doc type html here and as a title, we are going to be writing our digital clock. And now let's just link it with our um, CSS file and also with our JavaScript. So now let me just comment, uh, not comment, but hide that meta, right click on it, and then click on the open with a live server. And then we are going to be writing just one line of HTML code, which is clock. So we have a div with a class of clock and now let's jump right into a CSS and format that a bit. So the first thing we would do is that we would go to our um, fonts.google.com and we would just search for a specific form which is called Orbitron or whatever you want to call it. So let me just find there. I'm going to remove this font from a previous project. So let me just close that. And now let's just search for a specific uh, font called Orbit tron or whatever so this is quite looking like a um, clock so if i click on that let me just scroll down it's not showing up nothing refresh it all right so now it's looking a bit cool so until this one so you want the bold version of it so now let me just add that and now let's just click on this import copy this from here and pass it right here and also this font family as well and now let me comment that for now all right so bye bye to him and now let's just do our styling the first thing we would do is that we would center everything we have inside our body so now let's just put a background color of black and then copy that font family pass it in here and then display will be totally uh flex and then justify content will be center align items will be center save it everything is center where we cannot see something and now let's just uh format or clock but we will not see something because we will provide something in there so let me just write it like clock and now here we are going to be writing like 20 c 20 e this is going to be our greenish hacker kind of color font size will be like 60 pixel and letter spacing will be just like 7 pixel Okay, and that's going to be there. So now let's jump right into our JavaScript and provide our functionality to it. So the first thing we would do is we would just grab our clock from our HTML, just write a document query selector of clock. Okay, and the next thing which we have to do is to just attach event listener on a clock. Come on, man, what I'm doing? Clock dot add event listener of load. So once this loads up, so you want to just write a tick function so now let's just create this tick function so I'll just write tick in there and now let's just write like const now it will be now equals to new date and that's that and now let's get our hover from that new date so now we are going to be writing like now dot get hover so let's just call that a few times and then we have to get or get a minute and then we have to get or seconds so now let's just change this one to uh, hour and then minutes and then seconds okay so now we have to just write our html so const html it will be now equals to back text and here we are going to be writing our span okay so the first thing we have to render is our hour space and then separator and then we have to just close it right away and duplicate it a few times and then change this one to millisecond or minute to be precise and then finally change it to a second okay so that's there now let's just add the html like clock dot oh my goodness uh i mean clock dot inner html it will be equal to html okay finally just write a set interval of tick and then just provide a 100 milliseconds so it will be a second server file 
and now this is how it looks like and finally we have to remove that from there because we don't have nothing all right so now it's looking cool so it's time let me just show you the time if i can show you the time um okay so here's the time and look at this time like four seconds and here's the 46 and here's the hours all right so everything is working the way we expect him to work so this is what i want to show you in this project if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right to the next one and if you guys already know git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now okay so we are working on a 045 project so now let me just push that really quickly clear get uh not push it get status and now let's just try like get add everything get commit like digital clock and now let's just push that get push to origin main all right so get push to origin main all right so now let's just try this one and it will now push your code into or github repository okay so now let me just refresh my browser and now here you will found like um where is all right so here you can see we have 045 and you can now grab these uh, code from here so this is the html code i mean like this is a javascript code and this is the html code right here and then finally we have this uh styler css right here all right so this is what i want to talk to you about in this video so i guess that will be it for now and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.